This video is for Zodiac Cancer Sun Signs and Moon Signs for the month of 2018, March 2018. Welcome and greetings. My name is Edward, psychic medium, your soul messenger host, assisting us all, including myself, to live, love, and manifest the life that our soul intended for us to live this lifetime. Let's get busy. All right, so you suggested to view the main video first, which is titled March 2018, all signs, I am my own invention. Lost my papa. You can find the link below or go to my website link timeline and that video theme healing song is there and all the series, the full series of this video is up there as well. All right, so let's just jump right in. We're starting with the first of the month, March 1st, Virgo full moon. We're going to feel this the strongest February 26th through March 4th, 2018. Cancer sun signs. We have as our as our, sorry, as our day energy, the culmination of the element of water, which is what you're all about. Love, passion, creativity, spirituality. Then we have as our psychic insight theme for this Virgo new moon, energy, energy itself, where we place our time and or energy. Focus is the results we get. And you have the energy of you receive the energy of expect the unexpected, which is also of the element of water. So, I would say this week you are gaining your equilibrium, momentum with your emotions. There's a lot going on. The months of January and February and March are heightened. This month we have two full moons, so things are stirred up once again for March, just like they were for January 2018. So you get to find your equilibrium emotionally, right off the bat, beginning of the month. Are you, possibly, are you dealing with emotional energy from January, February? Quite possible. But you want to make sure that you remain emotionally open. Because you're all about your emotions anyway. So it is key for you. Because there is an offering in the works that's going to be revealed this week. Mar sorry, February 26th through March 4th. There's an, there's an offering that is appearing for you, and you might not recognize it if you are, I don't want to say downtrodden, but if you're not emotionally open and aware and in the moment, you might not realize, recognize, acknowledge that there's an offering for you. Some of you might be putting someone a male from your past in perspective, emotionally in perspective, which might be throwing you off. And the full moon, you know, full moons bring up stuff. They reveal stuff. So we have two of them this month. So catch your, excuse me, catch your equilibrium, emotional equilibrium breath this week. Take care of yourself, okay? All right. I don't see that as a, as a negative energy or influence for you. But you're going to obviously gain more benefit if you're emotionally aware. All right. All right, moving on to Zodiac Cancer Moon Signs for the Virgo Full Moon Week. Going to feel it the strongest February 26th through March 4th, 2018. We have as our universal day energy the culmination of the element of water. 
love, passion, creativity, and spirituality, which is your element. We have as the psychic insight theme for the Virgo full moon as energy, energy itself. And you have the energy, you receive the energy of increase of finances. Bing, bang, boom. That's it. So I make a joke. Money isn't everything, but it certainly helps when we're on planet Earth, now doesn't it? So you are, I would say, getting in touch or getting a grip emotionally, what your emotional connection is to money. Good old money. Do you have enough? Do you want to make more? Do you need to save more? Do you have plans that most likely you need money for? This is a week to like gain that awareness and or momentum with the issue of finances, your emotional connection to finances. Now, Zodiac Cancer Moon, you're all about your emotions. All about your emotions. Even more so than Zodiac Cancer Sun Signs. Even more so. So, if you understand your emotional connection to money, you are really ahead of the game, okay? You with you. Um, how is your... Do you take care of your own finances or do you give it off to someone else to take care of your finances? If you do give it over to someone else, just make sure they're on the up and up and check out their emotional connection to money which may be different from yours. All right. All right, that's what I'm getting for you. All right, I see this is a good sign. All right. All right, now we're going to move on to the Pisces new moon. Take out that energy. I think I'm missing an energy here. Oh, there it is. All right, now we're on track. All right, Pisces new moon, which technically occurs on March 17th. We're gonna feel it the strongest March 14th through the 20th. And this carries the influence throughout the zodiac month of Aries 2018, which is March 20th through April 18th, 2018. So, Zodiac Cancer Sun Signs. We have as our Universal Week Energy, Endings, Letting Go, The Influence Of. We have as our... As our Day Energy of either Worry... Second guessing ourselves, self doubting ourselves, or clearing the air, negotiations, reconciliations. We have as the psychic insight theme for this Pisces new moon unconventional energy going beyond our emotional comfort zone. And you have the energy, Zodiac Cancer Sun, receive the energy of commitment. It could be, say it don't spray, it could be relaxing, chilling, chillaxing as well. So let's see what I'm getting for you. I would say you, I'm getting this big time, commitment. You're making a commitment, or it's suggested, to do it the new moon week of March 14th through the 20th, so that when we get to the Zodiac Month of Aries 2018, which starts on the 20th through April 18th, you're not wavering, you're not wobbling, you know exactly what you're doing, where you're going. 
So this week I'm seeing as you having an emotional commitment. Where you're going to place your time and your energy. And with who. Okay? With who is just as important as where or with what. So for those of you who are, well, let's put it this way. If you're single, are you single by choice? If you are, great. If you're not, is it because you put your trust with people who didn't deserve it? Then that would be part of the energy that you need to release and let go. And then make a commitment that you are going to move forward and be open and give love another chance. Give yourself another chance, quite frankly. If you're involved and it's questionable, you might want to check in with them and see where they're coming from, where they're at. Where's their, not only where their mind is at, where their heart is at. It really has to do more with the emotions. So, is this someone that you want to have a commitment with? Is it someone that it's possible to have a commitment with? I mean, just because we want to have a commitment with someone doesn't mean that they're available for a commitment. I'm just going to say, even though we have the universal energy of reconciliation and negotiations, I wouldn't overly compromise. And I realize that's way easier said than done when it comes to love, romance. But just seeing where people lie, you know, where their head is at, where their heart is at, will help you gauge. And then you'll know if you need to give them time, your time, your energy, your focus, your effort during the upcoming month of Aries 2018. Again, I know it's easier said than done, but that's what I'm getting big time for you. All right. Now, Zodiac Cancer Moon Signs for the Pisces New Moon. We're going to feel it the strongest March 14th through the 20th. And this is also in influence throughout the Zodiac Month of Aries 2018, which we're going to look at next, which is March 20th through April 18th, 2018. So, deal with stuff this week, March 14th through the 20th, and then you're set for the, for the upcoming month. The 20th, March 20th through April 18th. Alright, so we have as our universal week energy of endings, letting go, or the influence of. We have as our day energy Hopefully not worry, second-guessing ourselves, self-doubting ourselves. Clear, there's also the energy, the possibility of clearing the air, negotiations, reconciliations. The psychic insight theme for this new moon is unconventional. Going beyond our emotional comfort zone. But you're like, um, you're like a, a well of emotion, Cancer Moon. That's not necessarily a bad thing. It just is what it is. And the energy that you receive is bad investment of time and or energy. So, emotionally get your shazit together this week, March 14th through the 20th. Acknowledge, realize, recognize what or who is a bad investment of your time and or energy. And then you're not spinning your wheels or wasting your time when we get to the month of Aries, March 20th through April 18th, okay? All right. It's not always that easy when it's people involved. I get that. But really allow the universe to show you, even though it's a new moon time and it's a restart, reboot, we still have that energy of letting go or the influence of or releasing. So... Allow the universe to show you what's not working in your life, even if it involves people. This makes it more difficult. I get that. You can try reconciliation. You can try negotiation this week. 
But if they're not having it or if they're not available or don't want to make themselves available, are they really worth your time, effort, energy for the upcoming month of, of um, Aries 2018? I know that's a personal thing, but mm. but that's that's what you're working with this week. I do not see it as a punishment. I see it as you being set up so you can make it the best month possible for Aries 2018. All right. All right, I'm going to leave it at that. All right, now moving on to the sun entering the astrological sign of Aries. All right, here we go. All right, Aries, sign of Aries, March 20th through April 18th. Zodiac Cancer Sun Signs, we are still working with the universal energy, weak energy of endings, letting go the influence of the day energy, which is the key, is the energy of stepping back, especially mentally, stepping back, and allowing things and people, especially for you people, allowing things and people to do their thing. Say what they're going to say, do what they're going to do, and you're not to interfere. I know, that's the trick. So allow things and people to unfold naturally, organically, without interference. It's a trick. Because you receive the energy of the male epitome of the element of air. So whether you're a male or not, you're dealing with issues because it's the epitome, so it's the end of the energy cycle. And you have, we have universally as the energy of endings, releasing, the influence of. So actually all three energies that you're working with here are of the element of air, which is the conscious mind. So this is a mental thing going on here, okay? So mentally, are you in your own way? Okay? Going to find out. Do you need to let go of the influence of a certain man in your life? Could whoever it is. From your present or your past or are you relying too much on a male for your future? Because you don't want to give your power over to someone. But this is, this is the time to let that influence leave or lift from you. Now, if that is the case, pay attention to what they're up to this month, March 20th through April 18th. The universe will let you know. Are they up to no good? Are they on the up and up? Because it's, you know, this could be someone, you know, you have dealings with. Could be personal, could be business. Yeah, the possibilities are endless, right? So, someone perhaps that you thought you wanted to align with or get involved with, and now you're like, ah, not so much. Maybe they're showing their true colors or their true character, and it isn't as pretty as you would have wanted it to be. And then there is, even if you're female, this would apply, this is really you getting your shazit together mentally. Setting your mind straight, right, proper for you. Okay? For you. We are allowed to change our mind if it feels proper. Not to flip-flop, but we are allowed to change our minds if... Some of you might need to draw a line in the sand, healthy boundaries... But this is all suggested, and this is the tricky part, this is all suggested for you to do behind the scenes because this is, this is a month that's advised for all the signs 
to allow things and people to unfold naturally organically without our interference. So this is basically like you make yourself some popcorn, you sit your, you sit your, your butt down and you watch the show, but you don't get on stage and do a reenactment. You allow it, you watch the movie, you watch the show, so, okay? All right. I don't see that as bad or negative, but it certainly is interesting. This is certainly not going to be a boring month. I don't see how it possibly could be with two full moons. Just like um, January 2018 was as well. All right. Now, Zodiac Cancer Moon Signs. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm going to take a swig of water. That's a, a green tea bag. Cheers. All right. Zodiac Cancer Moon Signs for the Zodiac Month of Aries, 2018, March 20th through April 18th. We have as our Universal Week energy... Oh, this is coming up for you again. All right. We have the Universal Week energy of endings, releasing, letting go. The day energy, which is the key, is to allow things and people to unfold naturally and organically without interference. Stepping back, especially mentally. And the energy that you have is the same energy that you received for, excuse me, the Virgo full moon of March 1st, though we would have felt it the strongest February 26th through March 4th, you have that same energy once again as increase of finances, bing, bang, boom. So you may have observed or seen the light, Mar uh, sorry, February 26th through March 4th, and now you get to do something about it, okay? All right. All right. Now, this month, this is a time for you to, not to get paranoid, but reassess. Assess. Take stock. The money that's coming in, the money that's going out. Where are you spending your money? This is budget time. This is budget time. And you're to trim the fat. I personally did this in January 2018. I, I eliminated things that I was spending money on that outserved its purpose. It happens. She said it happens, right? So that's what's suggested for you this month. As soon as, as opposed to later, depending on when you're watching this video. So what I did was I went through my um, bank account statement online and I went through each one and I'm saying, what am I going to keep and what am I going to eliminate? What am I going to cancel? You know? So that's what's suggested for you to do. Because in order to increase your finances, you don't want to waste your money. That's, you know, that's half the battle. You want to be efficient with the money that you are making and spending. It's two sides to a coin. It's not just making, it's also spending, right? So that you don't do that, though, out of fear that it's not going to be replaced, that you're not going to make more money, more money, from the universe, you're just getting a grip and letting go of stuff. Then you want to see if you are mentally, this time it's mentally in your way of making money. How do you think about money? Now it's your mind, your conscious mind. Some people think money is dirty. Some people think rich people are bums. Money is, you know, all money is, is an exchange of energy. Okay? That's all it is. And then we put on, you know, the good, the bad, the wise, and the wicked onto it. Because of our past experiences, because of people um, that we've witnessed, experiences that they went through with it. But I would say... Zodiac Cancer Moon, this month you really are getting a grip emotionally and mentally with your finances. And, you know, like I, like I say, 
Money isn't everything, but it certainly helps more on planet Earth, now doesn't it? So, hey, the potential is that you can make you can make more money. Why not? I'm a Taurus moon, of course I'm going to say that, but why not? So you're going to see this month if you are in your way mentally, and that's how you really think your perspective and how you approach money. All right, there you have it. Once again. All right. So now we're going to move on to good old Mercury retrograde. All right. All right. Let me check out that energy. All right, so do that Cancer Sun signs for Mercury retrograde. The main period is March 22nd through April 15th. Probably going to feel it before then and after then, but that's just going to go with the main period. So we still have, have as that universal week energy of endings, releasing, letting go. The day energy is problems. But if you watch the main video, I'm really seeing this as a blessing in disguise. The universe is going to let us know what's not working anymore, what's not serving us anymore, even though it's easier said than done. And you cancer sun signs, you don't get a choice. You don't, you don't, you don't get a choice because you've got the same energy as problems. So there is no way in Hades that you're going to be able to ignore what's not working in your life. It's not a punishment, but it might seem like it's in your face if you even try to ignore it. There is no room for denial, this, this Mercury retrograde period for you. You would only be doing it injustice to yourself. You would only be hurting yourself. Show. So. Show. So, Shazit might hit the fan for you. But that's because it's something that needs your attention. It's going to be right in your face, so there's no way you're going to be able to miss it. Unless you, not advised, unless you lock yourself up for the month like Rapunzel in a tower, which I don't advise. Um, I mean, even she had to let her hair down eventually. So, yeah. That's, that's really what's going on. Again, this is not a punishment. Now, because it's Mercury retrograde, it could be problems that, or stuff that you've ignored or, you know, put to the side from your past as well, because that's what Mercury retrograde does. People, issues pop up from our past. For those who are, so it could be your past, it could be childhood, and it could be past life energy as well, if that's something that you resonate with. Again, this is not a punishment. Okay? All right. All right. I'm going to leave it at that. All right. Now. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Okay. Zodiac Cancer Moon Signs. The issue of the issue of um, <laughs> the issue of money comes up again. So this is like, whoa. All right. All right, Zodiac Cancer Moon Signs. This is for Mercury retrograde. This is the main period of March 22nd through April 15th, 2018. I'm sure we're gonna feel it before and after. A week before and a week after, I'm sure, but let's just go with this main period. So we have as the universal week energy of letting go, releasing, influence of. We have as the day energy, problems, which if you've seen the main video, I'm seeing this as a blessing in disguise, that the universe is going to let us know what or who is a bad investment. Yeah, for you, I'm going to say bad investment of your time and your energy, quite frankly, yes. But I was going to say um, a blessing in disguise of things that are no longer working or serving us. And you receive the energy of the female epitome of the element of Earth. So it could actually be a woman, or it could be yourself if you're female. But first, let's go the element of Earth. 
And then you're going to understand why I said money. No money. So the element of earth is work, job, finances, career, sense of security within, which is self-worth, self-love, self-esteem, self-confidence, physical health, long-range goals. Okay? So one or any combination of that, of those issues, odds are it includes money, you're going to be working on during this Mercury retrograde period, which is perfect because during a Mercury, Mercury retrograde period, it's everything to do with RE. Review, reorganize, restructure. All right. Now, out of all those issues mentioned for the, for the element of Earth, the sense of security within, I feel, is actually the most important. Self-worth, self-love, self-esteem, self-confidence. Because if that is wobbly or not so positive or out of alignment, it eventually affects our physical health. Just saying. So, let's see what the message is for you. You really are being bombarded with that money issue, though. So, I guess there's, there's no time like the present, right? To, to, um, to handle it, get a grip. This is the energy of you being resourceful with what you have first, being grateful for what you have first, and then improving upon your situation and your finances. People that you have relied on, have they been trustworthy? Have they been truthful? Not for you to be paranoid. Have they followed through? Where you place your trust, where you place your alliance. Let the universe show you this month, okay? Well, during this Mercury retrograde period. I keep getting resor resources, re being resourceful. Are you selling yourself short? That would come back to sense of security within. Self-worth, self-love, self-esteem, self-confidence. And that would affect the cash flow, the money. Coming in, going out. All right. But I'm, yeah, resources, re being resourceful. And are you selling yourself short? Okay? All right, again, not a punishment, but this issue keeps coming up. It's the third time it came up. So it's going to be extremely hard to ignore. Not that I suggest that. All right, let's move on. Let's move on to the Libra full moon. Take out that energy. All right. Libra full moon. Excuse me. March 31st. Second full moon. Blue moon, if you will. We're going to feel this the strongest the, the week of March 28th through April 3rd. All right, Zodiac Cancer Sun Signs. Our universal week energy is thoughts of aggravation and or strife or joy rapture. We have as our day energy, which is the key, the inner GPS system, the inner guidance system, inner counsel, higher self, meditation. The Psychic Insight theme for this full moon is tricky. Not negative, but tricky. We have to be careful we don't go into second-guessing ourselves, self-doubt. Though it could be clearing the air, negotiations, reconciliations. 
and the energy that you're working with is problems, which is the energy that we were working with for Mercury retrograde. And, well, let's face it, this week, March 28th through April 3rd, Mercury is retrograde. Now, what I want to say before I forget is that this, this week, March 28th through April 3rd, is connected to the Zodiac Month of Aries, 2018. March 20th through April 18th. Okay. So let's see what your message is. All right, so... Woo! Boy, I mean, I think everybody on the planet should meditate. And I think everyone should meditate this week. <laughs> uh, especially... But I have to, I mean, I'm going to have to pass it on to you because working with four energies, three of the conscious mind and one of the subconscious mind, and I really do feel that our subconscious mind rules us, everybody. And you probably would understand that more than others. The water signs would understand that more than others because water signs, especially if you have a... a a water moon sign, but water sun signs have have more of an innate understanding of the subconscious than other signs do. For the good, the bad, the wise, and the wicked. Though, you know, again, this week, March 28th through April 3rd, Shazit might hit the fan, problems will, might quite possibly arise, not punishment. It's a clearing. This is a pure clearing. This is not punishment. This is a clearing. A lot of people are going to be on edge this week. Some people might freak out. Some people might have crap storms. More so than not, actually. And it's important that we do not get involved in other people's crap storms. It's their energy, it's not our energy. Of course, that's not so easy if we're living with them or working with them, but this is where meditation comes in. And I do practice what I preach. I meditate every night and every morning because the months of January, February, and March are heightened. I'm working with my stuff and then I'm working with other people's stuff by doing psychic readings, which of course is my choice, fine. But what I'm saying is, you know, there's a lot of energy to be working with. I have my stuff that I'm working through as well. I'm not exempt. So, this week, just coast. Really meditate if you can. Just coast and don't take anything personally. Do not take anything personally. I'm going to repeat it one more time. Do not take anything personally. Okay? Off with their heads. Some people might lose their heads. It's quite possible. Not, not. I'm talking energetically. This week. Extremely possible, actually, with this set of energy. It's going to, you're going to see it around you. So, they always use the analogy of a storm. You know, people having crap storms. Stay in the center. Because ironically, the center of, the, of a storm is calm. Go figure. That's where you're going to stay. But that's where it's suggested to stay this week. Okay? But again, if any problems arise, and it could be from a past, could be from the past because we're still going through Mercury retrograde. So it could be your past, your childhood, from past life issues, if you resonate with that. Again, not punishment. Don't take it personal. It's being brought to the surface, which is what full moons do, reveal stuff. Because this is where knowledge is power. Not over others, but over our own inner sanctum. Inner peace within the kingdom, priceless. Okay? All right. All right, now moving on to Zodiac Cancer Moon Signs. Now, believe it or not, <laughs> um, you actually, looks like you're actually going to get reprieve this week. Go figure. All right. Can you picture that? Imagine that. All right. So, we're talking about the 
Libra full moon, second full moon of the month, blue moon if you will, March 31st, though we're going to feel it the strongest March 28th through April 3rd. I'm going to take another swig of water. Cheers. All right. Universal weak energy is thoughts of aggravation or strife or joy rapture. The day energy, which is the key, is inner GPS system, inner guidance system, inner counsel, connection with our higher self, meditation. The psychic insight theme for this full moon is the not so positive application would be self doubt. Second guessing ourselves. Positive application of the energy is clearing the air, negotiations, reconciliations. And the energy that you received, which is quite lovely, there's no other way to put it, is um, a lift. It's a, it feels like the fog is lifting. That's what it feels like. And you're like the first, Zodiac Cancer is the first sign that there's actual sunlight while I'm filming this. The first. And I'm talking about, I've already filmed, at this point, I filmed the main video, Pisces, Aries, Taurus, Gemini. So that's five videos that was cloudy and you're the first that, um, so that's really a good sign. It's the weather, but it's a good sign as well. So you get a lift you get the energy of a clearing. It's, it really feels like the fog is lifting. So, this full moon week, March 28th through April 3rd, as others are losing their head, energetically, and odds are they will, because this is a tense week, you are, hopefully, focusing on a clearing, on where you're going. So let people have their crap storms, and it's extremely likely they will during this week. You just keep your eye on the prize, or if you need be, you know, you'd be like a horse with blinders on. You're just looking forward. That's where your sight, your vision, your focus, your attention is going, is placed. And for you, actually, there is a great potential, for those who are willing, for reconciliation or negotiations or renegotiations because we have to put RE because of Mercury retrograde. Everything with RE. Reorganize, restructure, reschedule. All right. So for you this week, you might find that you're having an easier week than most or others around you. Good for you. And you might find it very fruitful, very productive to try to get back in touch with someone who's been impossible to get in reach with, get in touch with. That's one possibility, of course, but... Yeah. It looks like you're going to have an easier time of it. And, um, well, don't gloat. Because <laughs> most people are going to be having a difficult week. All right. Now, the overall message for Zodiac Cancer, Sun, and Moon signs. And this is coming from the Vice Versa Tarot. Beautiful Tarot deck. Tarot deck. Tarot. All right, you received, now, I'm mixing up the cards, right, what your overall message is, and I get one, but then one drops out. So if ever one, if it's one card, pops out, sometimes it pops and sometimes it drops, I have to go by that. So this is the card that you received. Okay, so you received the number 13, the death card. I don't see this as negative, by the way. And it's not physical, okay? So, if you're a subscriber on our e-newsletter, link below, lost, there's my papa, 
You can still subscribe. You go to link contact on our website. And you can subscribe. Then you can tell me what you think this card represents for you for this month. And you will receive a free mini channeled message from Spirit. This really wanted to be your energy, so I had to acknowledge it. All right? I don't see it as a bad sign. Now, I am calling this video for you Turning Point for Improvement. Yes, my handwriting. So, Turning Point for Improvement. So, if you're willing to do what's necessary, the work that's necessary, this will be a turning point. This month will be a turning point in your life your path. Sounds good to me. All right. All right. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in and watching. Any questions or comments, feel free to drop them below if you can, depending on where you're viewing this. And, um, you know, whatever you feel, if you feel to donate, have a psychic reading, subscribe to our e-newsletter, do what you feel. Okay. Hope you have a great month. Hope to see you real soon. Thanks and take care.